yourself out there can be scary, but don't worry. As long as you trust yourself and as long as you have confidence within yourself and look for no validation of other people, you should be fine. And if you're like me and you're afraid of posting your art because you feel like it'll no longer be yours, just remember that the art comes from within you. They represent your ideas, your ideals, what you like and what you don't like. And that's something that will always be within you for as long as you live. So you have nothing to lose. 95% of the artwork that I have made has never made it online. So today I want to release some of that fears and anxiety about posting our artwork online and share with you some of the art that I have accumulated over the years that just sit in my sci folder incomplete and will never see the light of day until today. So enjoy. The 15 seconds no, 10 second, 1 minute, and 10 minutes drawing. Yeah. Here's an old sketch that I drew of an OC. She is a knight, and her bird has armor. That's so cute. And here is another sketch I drew my OCs. I love drawing OCs. Who doesn't? More sketches. This one I drew for Halloween. Fashion doodles. This is again another one of my characters who was a half demon and I was drawing her family backstory with her dad who is like one of the toughest demons but you know he has the softest spot for his daughter and he gave her a little pendant to protect her. There's this thing where like, I don't draw characters with facial hair, so I just want to see, make a ridiculous parody of my drawing limitations and have them have the most ridiculous standard facial hair ever. The fancy boy mustache. Oh, I also like to do a lot of character design. And so these are a bunch of hair that I was trying to figure out what would work best for my character. Okay, more character design. I take a lot of my inspiration from fantasy RPG games or MMO games. Um, I also, oh my god, is that an ant? Okay, I've also been interested in making character items or clothing items that can be used in more than one way. And you can see that here with this bandana I designed for him. I was like, hey, it could be a bandana or it could be a mask or it could be just like, you know, a bandana for your neck. More character design. More black and white silhouettes. I try to draw at least 10 or so to get the, the juices flowing because I find that around 7 or 8 that's when the good designs start coming in.
a little story about this. On her foot, on her foot down here is a chain, and chained to her foot is the skull of her deceased lover. Why does she have it on there? Well, she is a slave demon who was held captive for like a long, long time. And to torture her, they have chained her to her dying love. So she had to like just stand there and just watch him wither and fade away until <laughs> his, his corpse decayed and there's nothing but bones left. And so I guess the rest of his bone body snapped off and <laughs> his head just remains. How the heck is his skull still attached to that chain? Nobody knows, but you know, let's just, let's just say it's character design. Don't worry about the logic too much. So I want to portray more of her slave demeanor by, or just rugged nature by having her wings ripped. And then up on top, her horn is chipped off. But yeah, there she is. I love her. Da -da -da -da. I really love character design. <laughs> uh, these are the bartenders in my story, run by a crazy man named Larry who works his co workers to ridiculous standards. He loves them, he's really nice to them, but you know, he's kind of an airhead and he just slacks off a little bit and just <laughs> gives the work, like the whole workload to the, his co-workers. And he's a bit extra too, but he really loves his co-workers. This is Larry right there. These are the co-workers. So this sketch page is about Billy and his life, I guess. Here's Billy right here, just cleaning a glass, thinking about, thinking about his cat. Or here's Billy here, acting like a strong guy, even though he knows he's weak, and <laughs> making Larry jealous. Here's the thing about Billy and Larry. Larry and Billy have like a father and son relationship, even though they're both like kind of around the same age. And here's another fun page that I love so much. Um, yeah, I got some characters are spying on their friend who's like trying to confess to his lover and I don't know what's going on here <laughs> perhaps they got kicked out of a bar and here's the three the trio playing ring around the rosy they're so cute <laughs> oh and here are some designs. I used to have an adoptable account on DeviantArt where I'd make clothing designs and this is literally the last design that I created for that site. I love them so much but nobody brought them. <laughs> well that's better for me because I get to keep them. Here is a picture I drew for somebody for a Valentine's Day event. And I, I gave it to her, and then I never, ever, ever checked what she said about it till this very day. Will I check what she said? Eventually. But yeah, I think her, her knees, her legs are like so broken. <laughs> but other than that, it's kind of cute. These are some cartoon sketches that I drew. Um, this was back then when I had a phase of studying Disney art. I love the simplicity of it. Simple yet effective, but it's so hard to do. I'll probably pick back up on studying it again in the near future. Here is a picture of my two characters, my son right here. He is sick, but he thinks he's healthy, but the thermometer says otherwise. 
see there's a little there's there's a little you can't really see but there's like snot dripping down his nose and you know his nose is running <laughs> but he's delusional more Disney art Disney art Disney art character sketch fan art <laughs> sketches abandoned sketches this I, I i it's a cool composition i like how the trees like frame him but i shortly got frustrated because i know nothing about color theory and coloring background so <laughs> this will forever be unfinished this is a fan art of kara from Detroit become human. Oh my god. This is <laughs> Oh my god. This is my cousin's cats. I drew her cats as a BL pairing. She has this one cat named Leo who's like super cranky and aggressive. And then she has a younger cat named Kitty who's like super energetic and loves to play so, so this is what I came up with these are some twitch chibis I drew as a commission for somebody and I really love the way that came out Value practice with black and white and portraits. Um, this is an, a finished picture, but I just never published it. I think, I don't think I did. Of two of my characters getting married. And I think it's really cute. More chibis. My two characters with switched clothing. The sunshine girl and the goth boy. <laughs> I love that archetype. Um, more sketches. proud of myself for this one because I attempted to do a background though um, if I'm not mistaken I got the line art from like free pixiv materials but still coloring it in I it looks pretty good and the curtains was a touch that I added myself um, yeah I think it's still pretty cute Oh, oh lord oh my god okay so this is like a really old picture um again i'm giving myself props because i'm doing backgrounds or at least i'm trying to do backgrounds i like the isolated light like the dark forest and then the light down here let me zoom in closer the ice the water is frozen and there's like small streaks i don't know if you guys can see it but there's like streaks of ice that thing is really really cool the drawing is bad but <laughs> the details are cool and this element is ice and she is like mother nature and I want to like combine both of their elements by having his ice enter her springy forest and that's why um there's some horrible flowers down here that's supposed to be frozen 
God, I, I love the concept. Maybe I should draw it over again. The little, the little uh, fog from her breath. I love it.